This is Jason over here at Go Power Sports, and today we're going to show you how to set up your light on your Mega Moto 212. Alright, so we're going to start with option one, which we are going to use our Electric Start Tilson 212 engine. We are going to create a pigtail and we're going to change out to an LED bulb. Alright, so we're using the Tilson 212 Electric Start engine because it has a single coil, which is enough to run the LED bulb that we're about to put in the Mega Moto 212. Now this option one is if you plan on just using the pull start on the engine, not the electric start, and you are not hooking it up to a battery. So I have to talk about this LED bulb. It's nothing that we carry just yet, but we went online and found this bulb. This is a motorcycle bulb. It's an LED bulb that'll connect directly into the Mega Moto 212 housing. So on your Mega Moto 212, there is a regulator that comes with the kit. There's also a bunch of wires. So as we go through these wires, the one with the round is going to be your ground. We're going to ground that to the frame. Both of these black wires, these are kill switches. We are only going to use one of these. The original feed wires will do nothing. We are going to bypass them for, the, for option one. When it comes time, we're going to create a pigtail from your engine into this red wire. And that red wire is going to be attached up here, so we're going to create a pigtail to connect to only this top quadrant right here. You will no longer be using the regulator. Regulator! Mount up. Now this is how your Tilson 212 electric start engine is going to come right out the box. So we just snipped the wires on this 212 electric start Tilson engine. Our first thing we're going to do is remove this positive and negative post from the engine. So Kevin has taken off the negative and the positive post. In order to get this negative post, he had to undo this top bolt, get the starter out of the way so he can pull this away from the fan shroud and the switch, pulled it off and reattach the ignition back onto the engine. So in order to create this pigtail, you're going to need three things. One, you can use a ring terminal. For our application, we are going to use a split ring terminal. You're also going to need a male disconnect and some 14 gauge electrical wire. So now we're going to hook our split ring terminal off the power source on the stator. This is where the red wire was hooked into. Make sure that goes back on the post, and then our split ring terminal will go over it. Now we are hooking this split ring terminal to the power source. This is where the red post was connected to. This red male disconnect is what we're going to hook onto the Megamoto 212's wire harness. So we have zip tied up the wires on the engine. We are now going to zip tie and clean up the wires on the mini bike just so that it's nice and clean and that it doesn't get cut or trampled on. Just gives it a nice presentation. In order to fit the Tillotson 212 engine into this frame, you'll have to relocate this charcoal canister on the bottom side of this engine. Now that we've cleaned up these wires, we're gonna drop the engine in and just show you how all these wires connect. All right, so coming off of your Mega Moto's wire harness, you're going to see two of these black cables. These are for your kill switch. You're only going to use one of them. So the male end that's exposed is going to go into your Tillotson's female end, which is this green cap. So male to female, push it in, crimp it down, and that's your kill switch. 
What's left is going to be this ground wire coming off of your Megamoto 212's wire harness. We're going to open up this ringtail, undo the nut on the bottom side of the engine's gas tank cast, put it underneath the nut, and tighten it back up. Then after that, with the pigtail that we created, we're going to connect it to the Megamoto 212's wire harness. Now there are four quadrants here. We want to make sure that our male disconnect is feeding into this red wire on the other side. So we have the engine in place. We have all of our electrical wires connected in. We put our new LED bulb into the headlight canister. We're going to now zip tie that charcoal canister to the bottom side of our Megamoto frame. All right, so we just finished up option number one. Hopefully that was quick and easy for you guys. Just to recap, option number one is creating a pigtail. And changing out the bulb for an LED. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll be back with option number two.